What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Cards here once again for GM Games, uh, bringing you some Draft Day Sports College Basketball 2024. If you're not aware, if, if you're on this channel and you're not aware, the Draft Day Sports has dropped their first access for College Basketball 2024. Uh, climb out from under your rock, come out of your cave, come on down to the party. College Basketball 2024 is upon us. It's fantastic. It's one of my favorite versions of the game in quite a few years. Uh, and so I just wanted to bring you a real quick video of just like five things, five new features that I found really cool so far that have really improved my experience. I'm enjoying them. I hope that you guys are going to enjoy them when you check out the game. If you haven't checked out the game already, what are you still doing? Go check out the game. Go download it right now, WolverineStudios.com. It's fantastic. That being said, let's talk about the new features that I'm digging. So here we are in my office. And the first thing that I want to point out is this little ticker down here. This is like a news scroll. It's almost like you're watching ESPN or watching any other channel that like shows any kind of sporting event. They're going to have a ticker down here. And you can actually change and affect what shows up in the ticker as you go. Right now, you'll see it's showing me some ACC games. It's showing me some stat lines. Once it's done with these ACC games, it's also going to show me a rotating top 25. And here we go into the top 25. So this is from a save that I streamed the other night. I don't want to get into it personally. It was, uh, it was exciting until it wasn't. But down here on the ticker, you can see there were only two ACC games. This is NCAA tournament time. So it showed both those games. It showed some stat lines from both those games. And then it's going to jump into the top 25. If you want to change what it shows, you can come up here into your game options. You can come down here to bum, 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 ticker display options. I've chosen show conference only because I don't need news from across the entire thing. But you can also have it show all scores or show conference and top 25 scores only. So you have a few options where you can modify the ticker. No, we don't want to exit the league. So, cool little feature. It doesn't change a lot about like how you actually go about playing, but it's just more immersive. And I always think the more immersive that it is, uh, the more information that the game gives you, the better, right? So, next thing that I want to show you is something cool for if, if you go into the games and play them out and coach them out as they go, you might not find this as interesting. Uh, but I just sim the games. And so one thing that I found really interesting here on the sim screen, and it doesn't matter, like I'm already knocked out of this tournament, but it, that doesn't matter at all. Once I hit play sim here, it's going to start simming these games. But over here on the right, watch what's going to change. Well, nothing that time. I got to hit the play. I got to hit the right button. Now we've got our ranking and our entire conference rankings over here. So you can see as you're simming, because you know a lot of times you're going to be simming, you can immediately see your rank, your overall record, your conference record, where you stand in the conference, and how your conference foes line up against you, right? So you get all of that information all of the time. It's constantly over here on the right as you sim. We can sim another day. It's over here the whole time. You can see this all season long. It's a fantastic addition. Uh... And again, it's, it doesn't change the way that you play, but it gives you more information as you go, right? So, along with more information, I know some of you guys out there aren't playing with the top prestige team. Well, Louisville's not a top prestige team this year, but I usually play with top prestige teams. I'm usually trying to fight for national championships in Final Four, so this doesn't always apply to me. But I know a lot of you guys out there, you're journeymen, um, your you know road to glory or rebuild a fallen giant whatever you want to call it so you are playing some of those lower teams as they're coming up so check this out a lot of times your goals are make the make the NCAA tournament or maybe even make the NIT tournament on the dashboard here now you do this is the dashboard is apparently hidden behind this coach assignments button now but if you go to that and then jump on your dashboard you get all of this information and the coolest thing I, I think is the quad records so this screen is going to show you your record against teams in all of the different quadrants that go into determining how the selection committees or how the algorithm uh, determines what tournament you're going to be in postseason so you can see over here quadrant one 
and up here it's going to show you how it considers differently ranked opponents based on where you're at. So if you're at home, this is only counting uh, the top 30 teams. If you're on a neutral court, it counts the top 50. Away, it's counting the top 75. And then you can see how that slides in a quadrant two, if you're home, 31 to 75, and so on. So that's how these break down at the top. And then you can scroll through and see what your record looked like against all these different teams that were in all these different quadrants. And as you can see, I had the, the home loss to Kansas here, which wasn't fantastic. I uh, actually had two extra losses in quad two. Those were both away. Somehow in quad one, I just kept winning away. Um, but it was an interesting season. But it's all right here. You get all that information right here. So if you're wondering where you're at on the bubble, if you want to go in and dig into the numbers, this information was actually always in the game. I don't want to tout it like a new feature. I know that a lot of the information that I'm showing you and talking about is information you always had access to. But now it shows it to you in a really cool and concise way, and it's really clear and easy to get to. So if you want to check out how you're doing, boom, coach assignments, boom, dashboard, and here's your quad wins, right? So now one of the big changes that people have been asking for for a very long time uh, comes down to our out outside shooting ranking. So let's take a look at our team real quick. And let's take a look at, uh, who do we want to see? Chris Cole. Chris Cole was a heck of a freshman. So this screen's going to look really familiar to a lot of you. It's virtually unchanged with one gigantic exception. If you look right up here for shooting, now you're getting inside, mid-range, outside, and free throws. People have been asking for this on the forums, on the discords, where, whether it was Wolverine Studios Discord, uh, the GM Games Discord, all of the forums. People wanted to know how did that outside shooting ranking break down. So again, this is something that was always in the game. This was always affecting your save, but you didn't know how. You didn't have any visual representation of how it was affecting your save. And so now what they've done is gone in and broken outside shooting down so you can see the mid-range and you can see the outside shooting. Does it necessarily change anything about how the game plays? No, it doesn't. But it gives you, the user, more information. It gives you, the user, more ability to go in and affect how your team plays and make better decisions with better information, which is always a great thing in this type of game. So this is absolutely one of my very maybe the most uh, it's the second most it's it's number four on our list out of five we're going from five to number one this is number two on the list and it's a really cool addition and i think that it's really helpful and i think that a lot of people are really going to like it uh and i'm i'm glad you know wolverine studios the developers are awesome they always listen to the community they listen to the feedback they heard that the user wanted to see this they presented it on screen to you so there we go something that users have been waiting for literally for years it's in the game now. We get the mid-range and the outside. Now, the last thing that I got to show you, and again, this is the save that I streamed the other night. I'm going to sim through to the end of it and then just not save it. So anybody that's looking for stream info, uh, this is not the video for you. But what we're going to do is we are going to sim to the end of this season real quick. We're going to sim the coach stuff too. We're not worried about that, if we can. Uh, if, if I absolutely have to, I'll just overpay some other coaches because I'm not going to save this. But I want to show you the most important feature that people have absolutely been asking for, absolutely been dying for, and this is going to have more effect on your save than any other new feature in the entire game. So all we got to do is give this about 30 seconds to finish simulating, maybe, if that, probably less. On a side note, the sim engine is fantastic and much quicker and crisper this year, so I couldn't really quantify or uh, explain that, but you can see how it's running, and it's very smooth. But we absolutely have to display the most fantastic feature as soon as this finishes. It's going to run us through coaches, I believe. 
We don't need the recap. We can advance past the awards. Watch your speakers here. Sometimes this is loud. All right, we got it quick. This isn't what we're here to show you. Awards have been in the game for years. You can see that on any stream, on any prior version of the game, for at least like the last three or four years, I believe. Coach Carousel, we don't need to see. We're going to try to skip the whole thing if we can. Sorry, it's taken a while, but the buildup is worth it. Because this absolutely, like I said, this is the most important thing that you're going to see. All right, we're running the entire signing period, and then it's going to give it to us. And one of our coaches got poached. So we'll fix that real quick. Um... We need a new third assistant. Oh. And I really don't care who I take. I just want to get past this screen. See if we can run the entire signing period now. Still worth the wait. Let the let the anticipation grow. This is the best feature by far. Year-end tasks. So here is, you guys remember the email that you had in the past from the board, whether you want to upgrade your facilities, increase your budget, or you want more time. This is now that screen. However, what's going to completely change the game is now you get to see who plans on going early in the draft? You also get to see who plans on transferring. So we can see who's likely to leave and who's likely to stay. And above and beyond that, now you can make pitches. So like Brennan Lyons here, 85% to transfer. I probably just have to let him go because Tremaine Gray's is a fantastic power forward for me. He's unlikely to transfer. I've still got a starter. So if I try to come in here and affect this, it can have an effect on the rest of your team. If you read these player instructions, it will explain to you. You can either take an action and try to affect this change, or you can sit and do nothing, and you know it, it might not have an effect on the rest of your team, but then I lose Brennan Lyons, and I'm 50-50 on four other players, right? So we can you can see, you can come in here. Maybe we go to, let's say, Rashard Adams. You know, we didn't have a whole lot of depth at the shooting guard position. Let's say we just suggest um, try to improve the coach relationship. We can click on him, see what that is. Coach could be better, right? He wants to play. So we can just try to improve coach relationship. We can make whatever pitch we want. But now, instead of just getting blindsided coming into a new season, instead of getting blindsided coming into who's declaring for the draft, now we get it. We're going to see what the percentages are. We're going to see who's likely to leave one way or the other. And we get a, an option to affect change, which to me is the most important thing in the game. Like I said earlier, now you know the mid-range and the three-point shot. You can affect change. Do you want to tell them to shoot more threes? Do you want to recruit guys differently? You have that option. Having this option is a massive change to how you can affect and control your roster year over year. So, again, like I said, this was always just going to be a short video, just my five favorite changes and additions to the game, and maybe not necessarily even additions in some cases, like the quad thing. It's just a change in how the information's presented. Same thing with the mid-range shooting. It was always there. It changes how it's presented. It gives you more information, and I think it's absolutely great. I'm having a ton of fun with this year's version of the game. If you haven't downloaded it yet, I don't know what you're waiting for. 
close the stream. You can come finish it out later. There's not much left anyway. But go download the game. What are you doing? Join us in CBGM. Uh, jump into the community. Make some suggestions. A lot of these suggestions came from users over the years. Just either posting on forums or messaging through Discord or Slack or wherever else. Communicating with the developers and communicating with the community. And giving out some really good ideas. And they get implemented. So if you're into it, jump into the community. Share your ideas with everybody. I hope you guys are as excited as I am about the changes that they've made to the 2024 version of the game. Keep in mind, this is still first early access, so this isn't the final product, but usually at this stage, there aren't a huge amount of changes. Uh, so this is essentially what you're going to get. Uh, WolverineStudios.com, download the game. GMGames.com, join us in our community. Jump on the GM Games Discord server, chat with us, join our multiplayer league. Thanks so much, guys. Hope you all enjoyed the video, and catch me next time on stream.